McDonald's is offering tender crispy chicken McNuggets and a new Szechuan sauce for a taste of the East. Hey guys, it's Joey. I'm back. I've waited a couple days to do this video. Uh, I wanted to do it the day of. I was so excited, but I said I'd wait. I'd wait, see what ambled out of the forest with this whole Szechuan chicken sauce McDonald's phenomenon thing that's happened because of the new episode of Rick and Morty. If you guys don't know what the hell's happening, you're here because you want to know why are people talking about Szechuan sauce? Why are you talking about a sauce that came out almost 20 years ago at this point? Um, I'm going to wrap it up right now for you. So Rick and Morty, big adult swim show, big animated show, uh, comes out with the premiere for their third season on April Fools. No announcement whatsoever. Uh, there's a stream that begins playing on Adult Swim, premiering the new episode, which is phenomenal. Uh, to wrap up where we are in this first episode, Rick, at the end of season two, turns himself into the intergalactic government. And you, we're not really sure why. It seems like he just sort of hates himself and he's like, I'm just going to turn myself in once and for all and, you know, lock myself away from everyone. But as we soon come to learn in the new uh, season premiere, that he had this all planned out. There was a, a master plan all along for him to break out and take control of everything and most importantly, his family. So the episode begins with Rick and this alien played by Nathan Fillion. And then they sort of go on this like VR journey into Rick's subconscious, his memories, which unknowingly to the alien played by Nathan Fillion uh, is all fabricated. This is not, maybe, maybe not Rick's real memory of what happened. Uh, they're trying to get the blueprints for his, you know, infamous portal gun, the portal gun that gives him all the power that one could ever ask for. He could go between dimensions, worlds, what have you. He could go anywhere he wants with it. This is where, where the Szechuan chicken sauce, you know, comes into place. During this little um, VR adventure through Rick's memory, he mentions uh, wanting to go to McDonald's to get a taste of the Szechuan chicken sauce from McDonald's that they made for the Mulan animated movie, Disney animated movie in 1998. For whatever reason, he has a fixation with this sauce. Um, I feel like I might have had it when I was, I was about seven when that movie came out. So I feel like maybe I had it, but I can't remember what it tastes like. So he goes on this very small little rant about the Szechuan chicken sauce. And it's kind of funny because it's a deep cut pop culture fast food reference. So the rest of the episode plays out. Rick breaks out of prison. He sort of inputs a virus into the intergalactic government's you know, whole, whole stratosphere, and he sort of teleports through mines to avoid being captured or killed, and he finally makes his way to another Rick body from the uh, Citadel of Ricks, the whole Ricksiverse, if you will. So he finds another Rick, and he embodies him, and he saves Morty and Summer. This whole thing, there's a whole thing that plays out, a whole massive epic thing that plays out for Rick and Rick's favor. He had it all planned out. Every single step of the way he had it planned out. He's a freaking diabolical genius, as most of us already know. So, getting back to the sauce, the episode ends with sort of Rick going, you know, vicious. He looks like deranged over Morty, yelling about how he's the leader of the family now. He pushed Jerry out, who is the father. And he's talking about this, the, the, the series arc, the arc of the television show. Nine seasons of the Szechuan sauce. That's going to be my season arc, Morty. Getting this Szechuan sauce. That's that's my uh, Rick impression. He goes off about this Szechuan sauce and he's going to try to get this. If it's the last thing he ever does in the rest of the series uh, is get this McDonald's Szechuan sauce. So being uh, crazed fans as we are, we all took to Twitter, blasted it all over social media about the Szechuan sauce. Some of us may be old enough to remember it, some of us maybe not so much. Petitions popped up. People were tweeting at the chief chef of McDonald's and he actually said he's gonna see what he can do to get this sauce back at McDonald's. So this just goes to show the power of something that uh, people are really, when people are really passionate about something, magical things can happen. I've wa I've been watching Rick and Morty since the beginning. I never expected it to get to this like critical success so that people are campaigning about a discontinued sauce from the 90s, but I guess that shows how much power that that team has now, that show has. It there's I'd be strapped to find very few people that don't watch Rick and Morty now. So now we're at this very weird 
place in pop culture uh, where everyone's going crazy about a discontinued sauce that was a promotion for a Disney movie in the 90s and I think it's freaking amazing. I don't really know what to make it make of it but it's I, I really don't. It seems really cool. I don't know what it says about people, what it says about anybody, but uh, now I really want some uh, Szechuan sauce. There's people putting up recipes uh, for this sauce. The, they're making up their own version of the sauce. They're calling it a Rick and, they're giving it a little Rick and Morty twist with whatever that means. It's hit critical mass. We might actually, we might have an Adult Swim show get a big fast food corporation like McDonald's to be like, all right, why not? Um, so we might have a Szechuan sauce back in McDonald's in the near future. Who knows how soon it's going to be? It might, by the time it gets there, it might be, you know, died out already. Nobody will care. But that's really, I just wanted to wrap you guys up on what this Szechuan sauce madness is about. It's crazy, crazy cool. One thing about Rick and Morty, this was, we only got one episode. And then the new season doesn't really start until sometime this summer. I know there was a lot of production issues, but it seems like maybe they've gotten over them. I'm, I'm really excited for the new season, so I, I think it's gonna turn out really, really awesome. All right, let's get that Szechuan sauce. Come on, Morty, let's, let's, nine seasons of, all right, I'm gonna stop my impression. It's just really fun to do. All right, guys, uh, if you like this video, you wanna know more, you wanna see more videos like this, please like. Uh, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, so any new subscribers would be greatly appreciated. Let's get to a thousand uh, by the end of the month. That'd be awesome. Thank you for watching and uh, look out for some upcoming Rick and Morty videos. Let me know if you find any Szechuan sauce anywhere. See you later.